So these are the plates of <clears throat> LB with the kombucha swab, LB amp, potato dextrose agos, <clears throat> and potato dextrose agar um, with just actually 20 microliters squirted right in the center. So don't really think antibiotic helped at all in selection, but um, wish the lighting was a little better. You can definitely see some big mucoidal colonies. These colonies here definitely look like <clears throat> yeast, very smooth, almost perfectly spherical. One thing that's clear is that they all absolutely reek like uh, kombucha, that acetic acid smell. However, this plate definitely smells actually <clears throat> almost like bread. Yeast have a very specific smell. And these two plates reek like dirty feet, which is generally indicative of bacillus. Um, I'm sure other organisms, bacteria can smell like that, but not a huge diversity. Definitely looks like maybe see one, two, maybe three different types of clear colony morphology. You can see a decent amount of cells. Definitely some rod shaped bacilli, but also some semi spherical, larger yeast cells. There's also floaters in the way. <clears throat> this isn't the best setup holding a camera through the eyepiece. And here's another sample at a thousand X. So, if I had to bet, those would be yeast cells, and <clears throat> unfortunately because of the floaters from the reflection, you can't see, but um, to the sides of some of the larger yeast cells, some of which look like are budding, there are much smaller cells, which are most likely the bacteria, plethora of bacteria that are in the kombucha. Pretty cool. <clears throat>